Welcome to the second video of the series. In this video, you will get to know about window listeners. So without wasting any time, let's get back to our Visual Studio. So we are going to use the same code that we did in the previous part. Let me first execute it and show you what we have done till now. As you can see, we have created a simple window application here which is of 300 by 300 pixel size and nothing inside it. The title adds new window. If you see here, we have three options here, minimize, maximize and close. But when you actually try to close it, it doesn't actually work. So how to implement it? That we are going to see today. So for that, we have to use event library from the AWT. So we have to just import it like this. After this, inside of our constructor, I am going to write window listener. Now we will pass the object of window adapter by typing new window adapter. And now we will write its method public void window closing and pass window event as an argument. Then inside of that method we will just write dispatch. So basically the add window listener and the window adapter is going to listen for the window events on our newly created window application and the function dispose this will just delete the frame or you can say it will just close the window so when we will click the close button the window will get closed now let's just try executing it Now when I click the close button, it actually works. As you can see that we have written window closing. Similarly, we have many more functions like window opened. The window opened up function will be called when the window will be created or you can say when the frame will be created the window opened function will be called now let's just try executing it as you can see when the window is created in the terminal the block of statements inside the window opened up function are getting executed let me show you another function window close so this function will be called whenever the frame or the window is closed now let's try executing it the window has been created so we get a window just popped up message here now when I am going to close it, the close function will be called and the block of statements inside it will be executed. As you can see, window has been closed is being printed in the terminal. So likewise, there are many different methods for different events so that you can define what to do whenever a particular event is being triggered. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.